How's it going, YouTube? You know what? I've hit that point for the moment where I am really having a hard time caring how I am perceived on certain things. So I'm going to put on my, uh, shall we say, racist or somewhat racist, um, uh, shall we, oh, what's a good word to use here? Appearance? I don't know. I'm channeling Dale Gribble without the cigarette, but he wasn't much of a racist. He was just Dale Gribble. May the voice actor who voiced him rest in peace. But anyway, dispatch services. They still keep calling me. They haven't gotten the clue yet that I'm not going to work with any one of them. And here's why. They all sound like they're from the exact same call center in Bangladesh. Maybe somewhere in Islamabad, Pakistan, maybe somewhere in Mumbai, I don't know. But Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, they all sound exactly the same. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, I'm just here to call you to offer you dispatching services. We guarantee you load every day. Just let me take care of everything for you. We guarantee you good load. May I please know how many truck and trailer you have, sir? I want to offer you good load. We have good dispatching services. Yeah, all of that. It's like, if you folks were legitimate, and I don't believe for an instant that you are legitimate dispatching services, I believe you're all the same scam trying to ruin different owner operators because you don't have to worry about it. You have no skin in the game. You're somewhere across the ocean where you cannot be prosecuted because, well, good luck getting your sorry backside extradited from the crap hole country you live in to the US of A. Like, you would love that, being dragged here to be prosecuted. Oh, greatest day of your life. And yeah, I said that, crap hole of a country. Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, no. If one of your national pastimes is pooping in the street, you are not a civilized nation. At least, shall we say, modernly civilized, politely civilized, civilized in the same way that most other nations are civilized. So yeah, I'm not going to do business with any of you folks from any of those countries because I can't trust you to have my business interests and my financial interests at heart. You're not out to help me, you're out to help you. You're a scam, you're criminals almost certainly, and you're all lying. Not a single one of you is telling the truth about what you can offer a company at all. And all of you should have every single one of your voice over internet protocol connections permanently severed. Like if I could hack, if I had any kind of legitimate hacking skill whatsoever, I would tr make it a sport to find each of your call centers and spike them. To deny you the opportunity to set up more of your spamming crap to keep infecting the North American trucking market with. You don't belong here because you're not good business people. And also, I can't understand you. Even though you're trying to speak English and some of you are honest to God, truly trying, I still can't hear you clearly because your voice connection is trash. And if I can't understand you, I cannot reliably guarantee that there's going to be communication flowing both ways at the appropriate time if something goes sideways. Like, I can reach out to any of my other contacts and guarantee quality connection with a good flow of information back and forth, which is crucial to making sure that this freight, whatever it is, whatever the problem is, all of it is being handled properly. So yeah, call me racist if you want, I do not care. But for all you dispatchers out there, if you're not based in North America, don't call me. Don't call anyone, go out of business. Do something else productive with your lives. Figure out a way to make whatever country you're in a better place by actually, I don't know, adopting indoor plumbing. Just a thought. And with that being said, YouTube rant over for the day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road.